Hello, I'm Chris and this is my Tacoma front bumper lower valance and license plate bracket installation video. So this is a 2017 Toyota Tacoma and I'm about 99% sure this happened driving through floodwaters. No more than 20 inches. I never drive through anything higher than the rocker panels. So I live in Houston, Texas and you have to run a front license plate and the license plate is attached to that piece. So let's look at what we had to buy. So this truck was not hit from the front. It was not in a wreck. The piece just popped off on its own. Okay, so this little crush panel was still there. I just pulled it out so I wouldn't lose this too. I have no idea if you can get this or not, but that goes on there first. So this lower valance, I got it for $60 on eBay. It's an aftermarket, it's not a Toyota. I hope it fits. So if you lose your front license plate, you can't just get another one. They have to give you a whole new set and a new registration sticker just like that. So license plate bracket on eBay. It was just over $20 shipping and everything to my house. Comes with some screws. We're gonna need those. And then you're gonna need these blue clips right here. I bought a bunch of extra ones. Contact me if you need some, I can possibly sell you two of them for 10 bucks. Let me know. Okay, so this kind of just snaps in place. Let's get it on there. Okay, so now the lower valance just snaps in. The little blue clips have to go through this. Let's see if we can figure out how to do this without taking the grill off. Okay, so you're going to have to crawl under there and make sure that every single one of them little clips that sticks out goes in the right hole because it's real easy to miss one. Okay, so it's on there and it's looking okay. It does have a little gap right here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of closer inspection and make sure that each one of those clips is attached. So it's getting dark now, but we are gonna stick with this project till we get it done. So the grill is gonna have to come off no matter what. Let's get it off. So you gotta pop the hood to get the grill off. There's two screws and two little plastic clips. Let's get them off. So they're either Phillips or 10 millimeter. Okay. 10 millimeters right there going towards the headlight right here take this off you can reach under there with your fingernail if you need a screwdriver just pop it up pull it out like that and so we're taking the screw out of the other side take the screw off towards the headlight like the other side we're gonna get that little plastic stud out pull up pull it out sorry you can't see it okay so all we took off were the two plastic studs two screws that's all you need let's get the grill out so it's got these little plastic hooks at the bottom. So we're gonna pull it off at the top and it should come right out. And then kind of pull it. Okay, so you got one of these on each side. These have to be completely removed. It's got another little plastic stud like that. Pop it out. These are different, don't mix them up. So it has three kind of little barbs sticking into the body of the truck. Just watch how I get it out. Get the other side out too. So they do have a tool for it, I just can't find mine. All right, so now we're gonna look straight down. You gotta take all that stuff out because you need to look in here and verify that those clips are clipped the way they're supposed to be. See how it's got a little tab? It's actually kind of locking it in place. Okay, so it's not a very secure fit at all. Makes a lot of sense why these pieces come off so easy because it's barely even hooked on there. Okay, so it's got the two corner tabs that are under that vertical piece. You're gonna have to feel in there and make sure they're pulled in just like that or your piece is gonna be sticking out at the bottom. Okay, so we're going inside this little corner here. You're gonna to have to find a place where those blue clips go. It's a very weird little area. There it is. I'm gonna to have to get these in off camera. I can't hold three things at once. So it only uses one blue clip per side. There it goes. Okay, the other side's in. 
So we got it on there now with the blue clips. Let's go ahead and put those pieces back in to get the grill in. See, it's got one, two, three. One, two, three. So when you're putting the stud back in, you gotta pull this little thing out so it slides in there real easy. Do not put it in there like that, you could damage it. Pull it out, slide that back in, push it in. So be careful with this line right here, it's aluminum. Do not move it out of the way. Same thing, one, two, three. One, two, three. So a little clip. So we're gonna clip the grill to the bottom and then we're going to pull it over. So don't tighten it all the way just yet. Remember to pull the little pin out. Push it in. All right, screw. Remember, get it like 90%. Don't screw it all the way down yet. Okay, this is the clip I didn't show earlier. Same thing like the other side. Get it out. And then push it down. Ready to go. Just move it around. Make sure nothing is in a bind. When you tighten plastic down, you can bust it. Everything checks out screw it down barely snugging these things up you don't want to bust anything so that's it the grill is 100 percent back on let's get this license plate bracket installed so we got our new plates new license plate bracket thank god it came with screws so it's got two little dots in this plastic piece we're going to attach right there straight to the plastic piece so it's got long and short we're using the long ones then go in and pre-drill just make sure the drill bit is smaller than the screw So these are 10 millimeter and match the rest of the Toyota bolts. Okay, always jiggle this stuff around, make sure it's centered and not in a bind. Snug them up, you don't want to strip the holes out. Short screws. Alright, so everything's back to normal now. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.